Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to be looking at another executor which is working with the latest version of the Hyperion update. Now, as always, I do suggest watching the video to the very end so you don't miss any of the important steps. And let's get right into it. So, the very first thing that you need to do before you even use an executor is to make sure that you've downgraded your Roblox to the previous version which did not have Hyperion. I have linked the download for the previous version of Roblox in the description so you can download it from there. Now at this point you're ready to download the executor so the very first thing you need to do is to disable your antivirus so come down here and search for virus and threat protection. Go into manage settings and make sure you turn off your real time protection. You will be able to turn this back on in a little while but for now it needs to be turned off otherwise the executor will not work. Once you've turned that off go into the first link in the description or the second link and it should take you to my website like this. From there go ahead and click on the executor download button and it will take you to this page over here. From there go ahead and complete the steps and it will give you the final download. Go ahead and click on download now and choose wherever you wish to download it. For me I'm going to choose my desktop. Then go ahead and open up the download manager and it should open up just like that and from there go ahead and click on next. It will give you a few offers. It's completely up to you if you want to take any of these. If not then you can simply go ahead and click on decline just like that. And once you have completed it, it will give you the final download link. Go ahead and copy that. Go ahead and paste it into your browser. And that will once again ask you where you want to download it. For me, I'm going to choose my desktop and go ahead and click on save. Now, if at this point your browser blocks the download for the executor, go ahead and hold down control and press J and that will open up your downloads folder. From there, it will give you an option to keep the file and that will allow you to prove the download. So once you've downloaded the Fluxus Executor, go back to your desktop and now go ahead and right click it and click Extract All. And then go ahead and click on Extract and that should create a new folder of Fluxus for you. You can now go ahead and delete those two previous folders. And before you actually get started with opening up the Fluxus folder, go back into your virus and threat protection. Scroll down until you see Exclusions. Go ahead and click that and click on Add an Exclusion and choose Folder. From there, go ahead and single click your Fluxus folder and click select folder and you should see that added to your exclusions once you see it added to your exclusions you can now turn on your real-time protection if you wish to do that so at this point you can now go into the fluxus executor and if it is your first time using it it will ask you to get a key so again if you get this little alert right here just simply go ahead and click on more info and click run anyway and then go ahead and open it up and if it is your first time it will ask you to generate a key as well so let's go ahead and click on next and from there go ahead and choose the top option and that will start downloading all of the Fluxus files for you. There we go. So as you can see it didn't ask me for a key because I have actually already generated a key. Each of the keys last for up to 24 hours and I have explained in my previous videos how to get the actual key. So from there again these are all of the features that you need to be worrying about. I do recommend having on auto attach and other than that you can now use the executor. So when you do open up Roblox or you go into your Microsoft Store, I do recommend closing out of the executor um, before actually loading into the Roblox game. Because sometimes if you don't do that, um, it can just crash your Roblox and it won't inject properly. So it's just to be safe, you know, just open up Roblox first and then you can load up your executor. So here we go, we've just opened our Roblox game and here we go. So once the executor does open, you can simply go ahead and click on inject. I think I do have auto touch on, so it will automatically inject. And at this point, you can load into any game of your choice. So let's go ahead and load into this game right here. And as you can see, it does say Fluxus has injected. And let's go ahead and also execute the infinite yield script. And as you can see, everything is working flawlessly and there are no issues whatsoever. And that's pretty much it for the video, guys. Hopefully you did like it. If you do need any support, you can join my Discord server down in the description. And hopefully you did like the video. If you did, make sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel. And as always, thanks for watching.